just wake up to about six o'clock. We were meant to leave at six, but we went to bed a bit late packing last night, so we changed it to seven. Let's go wake up then. Good morning. <laughs> Stop, Julian Bay. Get off We're me. Just... It's hot. Okay, so it's Friday. Please the get next... off me. <laughs> it is so hot. I'm dying. It is so hot. It is probably, what time is it? 8.12. 8.12 and it is 35 degrees. Everyone's sweating. We just packed up. About to drive the rest of the two hours to Coral Bay. Two and a half hours. Two Coral and a half hours to Coral Bay. I'm hungry. We just had a few coffees this morning, but super excited to go and swim as soon as we get to Coral Bay. Yes. How was your sleep? Did you have a good sleep? No. There were so many thunderstorms. Rubbish. So many thunderstorms. Absolutely. And then obviously sleeping in a different bed is hard. We'll see you at Crown halfway. Halfway. We are like five minutes out from Coral Bay. Then we can set up and swim. <laughs> swim. Relax. Get out of this heat. Meet me more than car. We made it! Finally! Finally, 13 hours down, and Finally. we are here at Coral Bay. Oh, now I just need to sign in, and then we can go <laughs> the second day so it's Christmas Eve today we didn't film much yesterday because we just unpacked for most of the day and then just hung out with family just catching up with everyone for the first day but it is beautiful now it is such a beautiful day blue skies absolutely no wind just getting some ice for some drinks we've blown up this big tube that we're gonna put in the water the paddle boards are blown up the gazebos are up by the, um, the gazebos are up by, by the, the beach. beach. <laughs> Next to the beach. <laughs> by the beach. We have the GoPro today. So, so we'll get some underwater shots yes, and, and hopefully go, go to the snorkeling. And to the nursery. Shark yeah. nursery. There's baby sharks. Apparently there was a black tip. Someone saw a black tip just in the shallows here. But it's extremely low tide now so we'll wait a bit till the tide comes up so that we can go for a swim. Oh. And then we'll go to the shark nursery, show Jesse around because he's never. This is his get first. A, get a shot, Yoshi. Sorry. <laughs> That's where the gazebos are. That's where the gazebos are. It literally looks like paradise with all the palm trees. It's 12 o'clock now, so we're all just doing a pie run, going to the bakery, grab some pies. Christmas. I hope everyone is having an amazing day today and that you have an amazing time with family. Um, so today's plans, we're going to the beach, obviously. It is hot. It is hot. hot. It was really overcast this morning and quite windy. I'm so glad that the clouds um, went away yeah. and that it's such nice weather again today. Um, the Santa Claus came past in a fire truck <laughs> for all the kids. Like a little parade.
This morning we have woken up, we have got and changed, had something to drink, like a coffee, went back to bed, had another nap, <laughs> and now we're about to get breakfast. Um, so it was Christmas last night, so no one got the best of sleep because everyone was <laughs> kept walking around the tents and the caravans and it was partying all night. So Jesse didn't get a good sleep at all, so he's so tired. Today, mm, so am I. Oh my god. So we might walk to the um, cafe now to get some breakfast. I think they have like breakfast wraps and stuff that we can just bring back to the caravan. Um, the wind's picking up this week, so that's not good. Um, we'll see if we can go on a walk today or go see the shark nursery like what you say every single day here's Jesse say hello good morning <laughs> someone's a bit tired <coughs> today is just going to be a lazy day today no one's even swimming yet because it's so windy I'll show you yeah. So many people are just sleeping still. Mm. No one wants to get up this morning. Okay, let's go. We are on our way to go four by fouring now. I don't know what beach. Do you know what beach we're going to? Five Fingers. Five Fingers Beach in Coral Bay. So we have Callista, my cousin, Danielle, my sister, Jesse's over there, and then Caden boyfriend's driving um, so we're gonna see if there's a nice beach there and then we might swim we brought all of our swimming stuff um, what else we gonna... but we'll drive on the beach hopefully there's some nice dunes <laughs> <laughs>
28th of December today. We didn't film much yesterday or the day before because we basically just stayed in the caravan the whole day. It was 44 degrees, too hot to go outside or do anything, and we didn't do anything else that we haven't been already been doing for the past week. However, today we're all driving up to Exmouth. We dropped my dad off at the airport because he's flying back for a few days to spend time with my mum. I had to stay home because of work, unfortunately. So today, me and Jesse, my sister and Caden, and then a few other people in my family were going to Exmouth. Well, we just arrived in Exmouth, driving to Turquoise Bay to try um, check out the beaches there, snorkel a bit there. Um, the wind died down a lot today from yesterday. Yesterday we tried to go snorkeling um, at that Five Fingers Beach again, but it was so choppy because of the wind and you couldn't really stay outside for too long because all the awnings and the gazebo switch is blowing over. But um, the wind died down today. It is 33, the car says it's 33 degrees now, but it literally feels like 45 degrees. So we're gonna get so burnt today. But I mean, that's the perfect time to go to the beach to get a nice tan to be outside with everyone. So yeah, we'll see you at Turquoise Bay. today haven't vlogged in a bit because quite a lot of stuff has happened that we wish didn't happen so yesterday oh yesterday the door handle broke so a few people were locked in the caravan and it took a few hours to unlock it because I had to unscrew the door handle to get everyone out and then today we went swimming this morning came back washed our feet and then someone tried to duck under the caravan instead of walking around it and chipped a hole or like a chunk out of his head. Come show. So Jesse, he was trying to walk around the caravan, but instead of walking around it, he went under one of like those bits that are sticking out of the caravan and then hit his head quite good it's bled a lot a lot a lot so then we took him to the nursing station that's here in Coral Bay and then they glued him up so he has some glue in his head to keep his wound together they said if it was any deeper they'd have to give him stitches but thankfully it wasn't that deep um, it's just unlucky because now he can't swim he has to keep his head out of the water for 24 hours and he has to keep his head out of the sun as well for the glue um, which is not what you want when we leave um, on Saturday but it's alright at least you okay? yeah how's your head feel? a bit sore it's just annoying that it has to happen like a day and a half before we leave which means I can't do anything with the last day of the Yeah. Hopefully we can still try and make it fun and you can still go into the water up to like you can go up to the water up to there. He just has to be careful when he's showering as well tonight. Be careful when he's sleeping, just like elevate his head so that the blood doesn't go into his head and start bleeding again. But um 
Yeah, pretty unlucky, but I feel like it could have been worse. So. <laughs> That's something to be grateful. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>